To me, the McGill Tribune means a creative outlet. An incredible opportunity. Creative freedom. Empowerment. A staple of my university experience. A place for students to hold the administration accountable. A really warm environment. A paper run by students and for students. I'm Helen and I'm this year's editor-in-chief of the McGill Tribune. We are an independently student-run newspaper on campus that publishes weekly on Tuesdays during the school year. I joined the Tribune four years ago in my first year at McGill because I was looking for a place to get involved on campus and I, I knew I really liked writing. I love the Tribune because it gave me a platform to tell stories and that made my voice feel heard. There is no journalism program at McGill, so the Tribune also serves the function of a teaching institution for journalism. Our editors have gone on to work and write for newspapers and international media companies like the New York Times, the Globe and Mail, the Wall Street Journal, and Bloomberg. However, you don't have to be interested in a career in journalism to join us. We welcome students from all backgrounds, regardless of your program or major, to get involved by contributing with no commitments necessary. What we do is we tell stories. We have covered McGill, Canada, and the world since 1981. Not only are there opportunities to write for our seven sections every week, but we also offer a creative outlet for those who like photography, illustrating, or creating cartoons, or making videos. So there's something for everyone. In a few weeks, we will be opening applications to apply to one of our staff writer or staff creative positions, and no experience is necessary to apply. So sign up for a newsletter to stay tuned for that announcement, and shoot me an email if you have any questions. I look forward to seeing your work. So we're the governing body of Tribune Publication Society. We make decisions that the editorial board will not be making because they just deal with the with putting the newspaper out, whereas TPS as is a society of its own. It's an entity separate from SMU. So we have committees which focus on improving the journalistic uh, and the educational mandate for Tribune in general. And then we take care of the budget. We take care of other things like um, alumni relations. And we also organize an amazing conference every year. And we have members from undergraduates and postgraduates and then we have community reps who deal with the internal and external um, relations that TPS has with McGill and Montreal in general. And if you want to be part of board of directors, board of directors usually has spots open for undergraduate members and postgraduate members and you can join and then you can make change on that front as well. So if you're into policy or if you're into writing or designing or anything, tribunes are place to be. I'm an editor for the news section, which is kind of what you think of when you think of a paper. It allows you to see a lot of sides of the McGill community that you wouldn't normally see. We cover events, we cover student governance, we talk to faculty members, we talk to students. We really cover all aspects of what makes McGill McGill. It really puts you in touch and helps give you a better understanding of what McGill is like. The McGill Tribune opinion section especially is a place for students to hold the administration accountable as well as their student representatives and comment on various issues that are endemic in the world right now. Our section will have particular importance in reaching out to students from diverse backgrounds so that they can comment on these issues and express their unique perspectives. It's also a great place to develop rhetorical talents in terms of writing persuasive, powerful op-eds that will change people's minds. I think our section can uh, foster some sort of discussion and I hope to say community for those incoming first years who might be in need of that right now. I'm the managing editor for the arts and entertainment, student life, and features section. What I really like about a and &E and student life is I think it gives a really good platform for people to be like creative and also like take things seriously that like you all think are really trivial. So like I think all like kind of great to talk about anything from like depths to like reality TV and those are just as worthwhile reads as like a news article. The student life section covers a pretty wide range of topics that relate to McGill students and sort of the student experience in general. We've covered student organizations on campus, we've covered just happenings around Montreal, restaurant openings, like public art. In the coming semester, we're definitely sort of figuring out what student life is going to look like. I think it'll be really exciting to see how students will be 
connecting with physical distancing and everything. I think the arts and arts and entertainment section is a great place. Get involved with the many facets of Montreal's artistic scene, um, getting to develop your own voice, not just like coverage, but like really having like um, a discerning eye for the type of art artistic things that are going on in Montreal that interest you sort of thing. SciTech is a really interesting section because it involves so much interaction, of, of course, with professors and graduate students who you wouldn't normally get to interact with and getting uh, more in tune with kind of the scientific beat at McGill. And it's great for both people who are already in STEM, but it's also great for people looking to expand their horizons um, outside of maybe the humanities or even science students who don't get an opportunity to write in their science classes. A lot of the feedback we get is really appreciative of the opportunity to be able to communicate scientific ideas in kind of a layman way, um, which isn't something that is really embedded uh, very well into the McGill curriculum. I'm the editor for the sports section. I'd say we're definitely one of the more fed fun sections and we cover professional sports opinion pieces, game reports, athlete profiles, and a lot of other things, anything you can really think up. You get to develop interview skills. There's also just a huge variety of sports teams like volleyball, rugby, track, basketball, anything that you're really interested in, you get to go meet athletes at the top of their performance uh, and go to games for free. It's, uh, it's really a great time. So I'm the creative director, which means I manage all the creative sections. <laughs> for the creative sections, we have web design, uh, photo and multimedia. For design, they are responsible for all the illustrations you see, uh, the cartoons. Photo does all the event coverage. It gives you really good practice if you haven't done event coverage before. You can get like media passes, which I think is really cool. <laughs> multimedia is responsible for the videos and the podcasts. Our last section is web, which is uh, responsible for maintaining the website on the back end and put together what you see on the website for the teachers. All of the sections are open to having contributors. If you've never had experience in anything, it's a great opportunity to learn. A really cool thing about the Tribune is that you're really flexible to go between sections. So if you decide you want to try illustrating something, um, you can do that. But then if you want to also like make a video next week or in the future, it's not a problem at all. It's very flexible and there's little commitment. You can do as much or as little as you want. If you have any interest in visual storytelling, like multimedia, photo, and design are all great for doing that. Where McGill is really lacking in hands-on classes, the multimedia section allows me to kind of get out of essay writing mode and make videos and podcasts. Um, there's a lot of variety in what we can cover. We've done band showcases, we've covered events and protests on campus, and we've engaged with student clubs and much more. And now we are exploring a lot of remote options. Um, and we're always looking for new ideas and new contributors. So if you're looking to learn how to make videos and podcasts or develop on skills that you already have, it's a really great place to be. And we're also excited to be hosting some cool events this semester, like an online film festival in September with professional filmmakers. So it's just a really fun and exciting section to be part of.